Vascular surgery is, I want to say, in the crossroad of the art of surgery and the new technology. You don't learn by seeing somebody do it. You learn by actually doing it yourself. So I think that is a strength of this program. I'm Dr. Jonathan Shore. I'm the chief of vascular and endovascular surgery. The vascular surgery program here at Staten Island University Hospital has been in existence since 2000. The way the fellowship is set up, it's a two-year fellowship. We have one fellow per year. They will be trained in the bread and butter of vascular surgery. They will also be introduced to very complex vascular techniques. Fellows are very busy. They learn a lot. They didactics twice or three times a week. There are unique things about this program. Above everything is the variety of cases that our fellows get to learn and eventually do. Being one fellow every year, you get individualized attention. Any case, you have first pick on cases. You get to do a lot as far as them trusting you. So I think that one-to-one -one connection happens in a small program uh, with great amount of cases. The population of Staten Island is unique because it is on an island, very large borough, encompassing half a million people. So Staten Island University Hospital, it's a community hospital where you come in and you feel like you know everybody. At the same time, it's an academic tertiary care institution. So that combination, I think, is pretty unique. We're the biggest hospital on the island, so we serve a large variety of patients. We have one of the highest number of carotid artery disease in New York City, and our fellows get to do a lot of carotid and arterectomies. Uh, we also do the new procedure TCAR, which is new in the market, but our fellows get to do that. What I found very good for our fellows training is they have a good mix of all of these pathologies and they can learn how to do them with endo techniques, but they also get to do open procedures. It's the variety and the quantity and also the autonomy that they have in the operating room, which will define you when you go out of this place after two years. Vascular surgery is a very exciting field. Every two to three months, a new device comes out, a new surgical technique comes out, and we are always on the forefront of learning these techniques, teaching these techniques, and I think the fellows can really appreciate the innovation that we bring here and the innovation that the Northwell system allows us to bring here. We are now opening a new hybrid OR, which will also be an opportunity for the fellows to get their hands on the latest technology, which will also enhance their learning opportunities. We are also doing research trials on new and innovative devices and allow the fellows to get their hands on technology before it actually goes out onto the regular market. Fellows are expected to get involved in research. By the time they're done, they usually have a very, very padded CV. They have four or five pages of presentations, publications, we present at every national meeting. We have a very robust general surgery practice which helps to complement our vascular surgery practice. We have a conference every Friday morning which encompasses a lecture and we do case reviews. These are both pre-operative and post-operative cases and the fellows and the residents and the attendees get a chance to talk about the cases that we're going to do in the future. So as a general surgery resident, uh, you rotate through the vascular surgery department as one of your rotations. So you get to see vascular surgery patients, you get to go to the OR with the vascular surgeons and the fellows. The fellows are you know, a direct line to ask questions to and to learn from for vascular surgery patients. Fellows are always treated like a part of the faculty. They're able to carry out the procedures themselves with supervision. The fellows actually have a great quality of life here. There's the beach down the block. There are running trails, there's hiking. It's all right here on Staten Island. We have some of the best pizza in New York City. It's actually a really wonderful place and a really diverse culture here. The fellows can take a ferry into Manhattan, drive right into Brooklyn, right over the bridge. Many of them live on Staten Island, but there's also a handful that live in Brooklyn. The fellows are actually um, the fresh air in any program. They know that these two years that they have is what they're gonna build their whole practice on. They will come out knowing everything and anything there is to know how to treat a vascular patient. Our fellows are like our family. We all work together. People come here, they become part of the culture of Staten Island. And even when they graduate, they never really leave. And that relationship and the opportunity to teach and pass on the knowledge that I have to a new generation and watch them go out 
and say, this was great, I learned this in Staten Island. It's such a important thing for me. My job is to help make you the best vascular surgeon that you can be.